it's 90s. You, you get it yet? It's from the 90s? Yeah, I, I get it. My whole left ear gets it. The 90s didn't have stereo, right? Am I getting that right? <laughs> Nicholas Pickles. He probably made that name up himself and he thought it was funny. I, I like to think that his producer did it, but he's like, oh, no, no, hang on, I got a good idea. So, one thing you're going to learn about this show is that people never stop talking ever. Like, they, they just don't breathe when they talk. Yeah, you said you've seen the show as a kid, right? Yeah. This was a Canadian game show that I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's basically the... It's like... It's like, um... Okay, Nick's Arcade is like the yummy, juicy steak. Uh -huh. And this is like the fucking Brussels sprouts that you don't want to eat on the side of your plate. I mean, I do, because uh, I love fucking Brussels I kind of wish we had like a Nintendo 64 van so, at some point. That's not all. We'll also throw in ten Mario Kart T-shirts so our winner and his nine pals can play in style. Sounds good, Sarah. The back to school right. party will take So the prize is T-shirts. I think there was like a plot to like give everybody seizures because like in this show there's like so many like flashing lights and things that spin around. <laughs> That's just the 90s. You don't remember. You're not a real 90s kid. Uh, you're gonna. I'm gonna go to that address, and there's gonna be like an underground, like fucking like porno joint there now or something. No, I think that if you go there, it's just like an abandoned warehouse where the drug deals happen. <laughs> Now, or maybe Nicholas Pickles is just there, and that's where he lives. That would actually be worse. I've got the highest tips ever to help Whoa. You Whoa. Uh, is he? Okay, so he's a religious black guy, and he has like a sort of Australian accent. Uh, is he from a boy band? What is with these occupations under people's names? He's a virtual dude. What does that even mean? The vid kid. <laughs> All right, let's play some Mario Kart. Fox 64, both games are oh my god, she blanked. These look like the kind of people that don't actually, like, you know, play video games. I don't think this guy was born in the 90s. He's the embodiment of the 90s. He probably doesn't actually exist anymore because he's stuck in a time loop where he can only exist in the 90s. <laughs> So every time they show the kids, they always look like sad. Yeah, <laughs> they look <laughs> like, like yeah, they look like they're being held hostage right now. God damn. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like they're all being like held hostage. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he tried. <laughs> He's like, oh, should smile? Man, I would be so stoked if I was on TV to play fucking video games. What's wrong with these kids? <laughs> he should button up his shirt. Some kid might see his chest hair and then it'll get like a PG-13 rating or something for the show. Players, turn around, pick up your controllers, and start gaming. You can win these amazing In one of the episodes, he was like in front of the TVs. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, are you ready to rock? Maybe even dance. Wait, what? Oh, look, shitty music CDs. It'll be like five cents. I had one of those as a kid. Bubble bath. <laughs> Yeah, I had one of those. It was pretty cool. <laughs> but it's like, you, they, you came out to television to play video games, and as a winner, you're gonna get a bubble bath? Every fucking episode, they show this fucking watch off. Like, Is it always 629? <laughs> Oh, you got Mario, you got Luigi. Every time somebody says Mario, I want to strangle them slowly. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. why, doesn't, why doesn't she ever look away from the camera? Like, I, I know she's on a TV show, but... God damn. I... Oh. Good job, oh, kid. This is, this, this, is, this is the alpha version of Let's Plays. Is she giving us tips? On how to play. <laughs> they should be giving these kids tips, man. They suck. 
They're all probably thinking like, oh my god, when is the next commercial break? I really need a breath, oh my god. Is he trying to get hit by everything? <laughs> Did she call Yoshi a her? Use your star, use your star! Do it. You get acceleration for, there you go. Then quickly press the joystick in the opposite direction to hold the slide. As the smoke comes off your tires, quickly flip the joystick back and then away from the turn. Oh my god, Nash the Z button. Over again. And when the smoke turns red, <laughs> let go of the R button to stop sliding. Are, they're not playing against, against each other, are they? It's one of the many techniques that you have to master. If no, you they're playing on separate TVs against, against the computer. No oh, waste, wait, why? <laughs> see the green light, use the rocket. <laughs> I don't know. The game <laughs> lets you play four players. Why? changes from red to blue. You sure can't make a dash at the start. Oh man, Maximum there's more. I wonder whose mom is. This is one fast ride. <laughs> fast is right, but if you press the A button too early, the tires will spin out of control and you Drink your milk and eat your vegetables, son! If you time it correctly, when you I, I guess you'll have a rotten day! I'm just awestruck no right now. And that's what we that kid's like so into it, holy shit, he's like leaning over. Strategy at its best. Strategy at its best, driving an oval. You better believe it. Oh. Are, are we watching any of them play right now, or is this just arbitrary footage that's going with their gameplay tips? This guy scares me. He's too many stereotypes at once. You have no idea what you're missing. Don't worry though. Just check this out and be prepared to be amazed. The primary goal. Like, who is he trying to be? I don't understand. Yeah. So here's a really great cheat: what run around in a circle eight times. Roger Bay, not to worry, I'll help you out here. At the I'll help of the you out. Sunken ship full of hidden treasures. You have to take a breather on the surf until you see that giant eel leave the vessel. What? When he swims, if you're gonna give tips, you should probably show footage of what you're talking about. <laughs> Open up the chest in Jolly Roger Bay, but first you gotta play the the wing cap level, and then you gotta go to Bob on Battlefield. And this is the wrong footage, right? They're gonna give tips later about how to unlock the wing cap. They're gonna tell you how to get the 64 star, and they're just gonna show like footage from Modern Warfare 2's campaign. <laughs> Wow, nice fan art in the background. Did you draw that? <laughs> Any 2.0 disease song? That's a Mega Man song in the background, right? Yeah, it's uh, Crash Man stage. Is that used in every single episode? Like they picked up this Mega Man song and that's just yeah, it never stops playing either. They had to they had to pay Mega Man. They had to probably just take Mega Man. Yeah, they had to pay Mega Man money. <laughs> oh my God, kids! <laughs> I know they're not exact. They're like picked randomly out of the audience, right? They didn't have to like audition for this or anything. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because they're just. Whoever's playing as Wario is just trying to get hit by everything. Well, he doesn't know how to raise the fire. You can also uh, unleash the unleash the red shells, which are most The finish line's not in the water. Don't be scared to use it. Me scared? <laughs> What's the point of racing if you don't want to win? The thunderbolt is a little harsh, though. It strikes every opponent's cart, shrinking them lower than uh, and lowers their speed. I wonder what Nicholas Piccolo's is doing it. now. Some players may be I want to know what that Australian black dude's doing right now. He's probably like sitting in a ripped chair and like a white beater and, sh and like stained shorts, and he's probably like let's playing games or something. He wants to go back to his glory days. Well, yeah, we should find his YouTube channel. <laughs> Wait, what? Are these video games? The Godfather. What was Julia Roberts' hit summer movie? Get those answers in now. Um, uh, uh, Cool Cat Saves the Kids. Julia Roberts. Right? Wow, this is, is so fucking 90s. Right is, why does that guy keep, like, shooting me with invisible pistols? <laughs> I, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> So I don't know why, but the person who edited this video together decided that, like, 10 seconds of black between commercial breaks was good. Maybe this is archived on an actual VHS tape that you could buy in the store, and that's just how they did it. Yeah. 
like someone out there's got like the entire 300 tape collection of every episode of Video Arcade. So, um, that weather, huh? It's pretty, it's pretty nice. If this was a home video, like a home movie that somebody captured on their VCR, though, they should have at least left in the commercials. Like, what the fuck? Did the, did the guy that was recording this, did he need to, like, go get a sandwich or something? Like, fuck. You all race wonderfully, but we can only crown one racer with the... She is not a human being. She has not moved her eyes any other direction. Uh, oh my god, I lied. No, he's like, oh my god, I'm going to be spared. Please take your hands off me, lady. Who are you? What am I doing here? So, if they get the red ball, they get to pick whatever they want. Uh, if it's any other ball, then they have to get a prize off the wall. A lot of the times, they end up getting a shitty prize, and, like, the the expression on their faces is, oh, is like, priceless when they get something shitty, like a fucking board game or something. I guess it's appropriate, then, that they're pulling balls out of a trash can. You got an Elvis statue? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's like, can I have another prize, please? That's just, that's a cruel joke, right? Give a kid an Elvis statue. <laughs> like, 20 years later, he's gonna have his girlfriend over or something, like, ah, oh, what is that? <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, um, he like leans up against it all cool, you know? Yeah, that was, um, I want this Elvis statue Elvis for statue? my sick Mario Kart 64 skills. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Elvis statue I won 20 years ago. You know, it's, uh, it's not a big deal, you know? And earn your license to thrill. If he has any, I mean, if he's a sane human being, he'll just like throw it in the dumpster next to the video and arcade top ten building as soon as he leaves. But that poor kid too, like he was the ugliest kid there, and like he wins the competition. It's just like I do have value, and then they like give him a fucking like 2.0 Elvis fucking melted statue. <laughs> Is a pro so, is he even talking about the same game? This is Pilot Wings, right? <laughs> I. Is there a jetpack in Pilot Wings? I never played this. Brand new game. Mega Man. <laughs> Copyright. Is spectacular. I'm talking unbelievable sound effects, dazzling special effects, 23 animated special effects. Actors. Oh, the list goes on <laughs> and on. You will play as lead as Fox McCloud in this earth-shaking adventure. Earth-shaking because you can actually feel all the action with the rumble pack that's attached to your controller. Hey, I think you, you mean know, a lilac shaking. Thank like you very much. I think everybody else is acting, but he really seems Sarah, into it. Like, like when he goes on video and arcade top 10, it's like a different world. Oh my God. They couldn't even Holy spell her fuck. name right. Oh my god, look at this girl! She, she's like, she's like, the bomb will go off in four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. oh god, him too. I really wanted the fourth Why contestant to be a girl so I could say about the third kid that he's just rolling in pussy right now. Why do like 80% of the people on this on this segment look like they they want to kill people? If the contestant was first five, both the health player and the super partner would have got me at Star Fox 64. Players, grab your controllers and... Seriously, man, that one girl is like really creepy. <laughs> Okay, they're playing on four consoles again. Do they know that there's a competitive mode in Star Fox 64? <laughs> I had one of those! Oh, okay, never mind. Could you actually play Donkey Kong on your bubble bath container? <laughs> and here's a watch. God, fuck off with that fucking watch! It's gonna be worthless in like five years. If you want to win, you got to play. All right, let the games begin. Is that? Are we in a watch? What? Okay, can you identify anything in the background? I think they saw an alien with lips. Leader of the Star Fox team. If your job. I know. I think it was just in a washing machine. How do you win this exactly? Like, are, do they get? Do they count up the score? Or does everybody so bad? Yeah, I think they're doing this. I think they're doing a score <laughs> I've never heard Andros described as a brilliant scientist gone wacko before today. Everything is going according to plan. Three minutes and counting. <laughs> 
and your last objective is to defeat Andros himself. And oh, see, she's Venom. looking at the timer. How you get to Venom and you but make sure that you choose your path. We will start the revolution. I love the scare cams on these kids. Destination will be branched out for you, but the story and difficulty level will change. Clayton is intense, damn. There's 15 planets for you to battle. I think that might actually be my real life friend Clayton. He might have been on this show. I am Vidkid. I am a robot. I am Vidkid 2000. I am programmed to be incredibly boring. Oh my god. She's like, she's like, I will not accept failure. <laughs> she should have rigged the bomb to blow up when Falco dies. Oh yeah, watch. He's gonna try and get but it doesn't even matter because Falco's three. dead. Your primary job is to blast enemies from cockpit. Oh, you're oh, you need Falco to <laughs> you, <laughs> you need Falco to tell you that's some pretty smooth flying if you want to get the secret boss. Man, I remember as a kid it took me a while to get through all those rings, but I never fucking lost a wing to it. Jesus Christ. I feel bad making fun of these kids' skill at the game though because their prize for like you know playing at all is you get a copy of the game so clearly none of them have played it before <laughs> the girls like the girls like it doesn't matter if i lost the wing soon there'll be many things lost including lives after almost calling it quits, Bruno says. Okay, uh, seriously, back was he an in sync Backstreet Boys? Songs of faith and devotion, so uh, well, he doesn't have a last name, so you might be onto something. One exhausting 156 show tour. <laughs> Check out this track. It's no good. It's no good. Yeah, you're right. It is no good. Yep. You're, yeah, man. That explains the song. Depeche first. Mode. <laughs> This isn't one of. <laughs> That's, okay, okay. I'll just cut it off right there. That was not one of Depeche Mode's like, no, memorable no, no, songs, he, I gotta he, say. He turned it off prematurely because he's like, alright, now I want you to hear the song I made in my boy band. <laughs> M5A1 V2. Like M5 Oh my god, I think that uh set of letters and numbers at the end was the detonation code. Don't show the girl that. Sunglasses at night, tell me, and black cloud rain. Nice going. I all I'm hearing from him are words that don't mean anything when you put them together. I wonder when they shut down the studio finally. Uh, so the guy, like, who rented them the place out came back and he's like, Hey, can I have another shoe back now that you put on the TV? You better believe Andros will be shaken too. That's right, we got some advice that'll help you in battle Could you imagine what it looks like if Andros was shaken? He's just a giant head. You need to move more quickly through a tight space. Use the boost. That will be your left C button. Now, if you use the brake, that's the bottom C button, and you'll have leisure time. Two minutes. When using the Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Why is he crashing in every building on purpose? That was not an accident. He, he's getting he's getting extra points, obviously. Stop! It looks like they're kissing an invisible man. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> he died on the first day. <laughs> what? She's happy. She's like, he died. This pleases me. <laughs> how, how did the footage suddenly go to level two for a split second before starting the first level over again? <laughs> That's right, you can increase- Cause like, I was confused, cause I felt like it'll switch the camera and then show like, who's playing on what part. But no, they just keep switching the camera, so I don't actually know who's playing now. I don't think it matters, yeah, cause it's like better time! Yeah, that's actually like a catchphrase he has whenever he reads letters. I think that Blue's Clues did it better. Yeah, Dark Steve definitely reads letters a lot better than this guy. <laughs> All the letters he gets are written in blood, probably from the children that wrote them, he forced them to. <laughs> you think Nicholas Piccolis idolized Dark Steve at a time? <laughs> that art is so shitty in the background. I know he's got a terrible, stupid, not funny name, but it is really fun to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh... Better go pick my kid up from daycare. Okay. I'll just leave this running. Grab myself a slice of pizza. I uh, uh oh. I hope they're watching the girl during the commercial <laughs> break. 
<laughs> they probably only did a commercial break right here to escort her out of the building because she went psycho. <laughs> Oh, you let's get some more tips. And they're turbo. Here's something to help your game. As part of the fearless Star Fox team, you're trying to stop How do you get to level two and have zero lives left? Holy shit! <laughs> Look, the game's telling you to go up. Fucking go up. Yeah, I guess they finally figured out that you don't get points for running into every possible object in the game. If you do, it'll add to the strength of your team, and believe me, that helps your game. If he gets hit by something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh. See ya. See ya. If you live in the Toronto area, or you can come in for the day, why not come join us here in the studio? We get a shot of terrific prizes. I'd rather not. Let's call that number later. Who's like a three-year-old? Let's call that number later. Who's like a three-year-old? What are you? Seriously, he's like he's like a hockey player pirate. I, with, uh, I don't even know, man. <laughs> Turok? Really? I didn't know Turok was ever like up. I, I didn't know anybody played Turok and liked it. Rick Carentes of Windsor, my man, you picked up a game for knowing how to find Mario's green dinosaur friend in Super Mario 64. You have to collect all I swear to God, if, you, if someone says Mario again, once you have every single star. Oh, he's giving us Mario 64 tips about how to get Yoshi, so maybe we should see some footage of like Forsaken 64. Part of the roof below the highest tower. Yeah. You'll receive 100 lives. Oh, this time he's just gonna say fuck it and not put the footage in at all. Two one up mushrooms. Well, it's time to sit back and chill and get ready to be entertained by Ryan and his movie review. Movie review. This show is all over the place. Aurora Greenway is back. After winning critical acclaim for her portrayal of this crotchety character in the movie Terms of Endearment 15 years ago, Shirley MacLaine has given a new role to the new life to this role. These days, oh. Aurora finds herself struggling with out of control grandchildren, a meddling psychiatrist. A <laughs> like while he's in the middle of talking. Stuff. Can I have my shoe back? No! Granny! Granny, will you listen to me? <laughs> You keep telling what is me this? Evening Star. I've never even heard of this movie. Well, I can't have a future here. What are you gonna do? So they couldn't even so endorse a movie watching. that somebody. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just, just imagine yourself as a kid, right, in the '90s. You're like 10 years old. Oh, video games! And then, like, out of fucking nowhere, it's a bunch of fucking old people talking about fucking bullshit. At last. I have been so no, kid, kids like, love. Did any kid give a shit about this at kids all? Kids love Cloris Leachman. What are you talking about? We got a deal for you. Rogers certificate. Good for <laughs> Rogers the new. I remember that. Management. They got shut down here though. The correct answer to this question: Who stars as Aurora Greenway in the movie The Evening Star? Send your answers to Virgin Arcade Top Ten. Care of movies. 550 Queen Street East. Sweet. If you Detroit. send me your answers, I'll, I'll give you an autograph uh, from my boy band. Jason Bernardi of Kelowna. You want a stack of free rentals for knowing that Uma Thurman and Janine Garofalo starred in the movie The Truth About Cats and Dogs. Now let's head over to Nick. They Sarah picked the most random. Do they? Are those like Canadian exclusive movies with Uma Thurman you got over there? I've never heard of these. See that that woman never moves her eyeballs anywhere, but Nicholas Piccolis can't stop moving his arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, she's like, yeah, look at her. She's like, well played. <laughs> look how she's clapping. <laughs> well played. You win this time, Justin. Is he gonna pick the prize out of the garbage can too? Uh, hopefully that he can't get an Elvis statue again. Red bonus ball, anything you want on the wall. It, at this point, it'd be better if you pulled out a dead possum out of there. Yeah, really. Don't go in there, that's where the bomb is! Number 10, Sarah, what's he won? What did he win? He got a gift certificate to a science camp. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Certainly better than a fucking Elvis statue. The only place you'll be visiting is everywhere at once, once I'm out of this building. <laughs> The Star Fox team is proud to have you on their team. Over to yeah, she's not worried though, because she's a robot, she has no emotions. There's nothing you can do to save Gotham now, Nicholas Tickers. I think I think Nick was just born with like five lungs, because there's no way anybody can talk that much and I'll just collapse. <laughs> Clothing for the host provided by Backstage Pass. From tees to dresses, you'll look way cool in threads from Backstage Pass. Food supplied by How did I watch almost a half hour of kids playing video games when I feel like I haven't seen anything at all? <laughs> what? Why did they zoom out on his shirt? 
It's like Tasmanian Devil by now. Trademark. They're trying to get as many endorsements as they can. Robert Ursary. Oh, 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 so Deborah and Robert Ursary. So it was like either a brother and sister or a husband and wife that made this show. Yeah. Writers. Writers. <laughs> Look at her. She's like 30 seconds. <laughs> Special thanks to Universal Studios. Thanks to video game players throughout the universe. Did I read that right? Ten seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Beat the she, she's trying to he, he's trying to negotiate with her, like, please, please don't blow up the building. She's like, no. Y you said your time has come. What do you say this music was from? Crash Man? Yeah, everything's about to crash in a fucking second here. Fucking beat the boss already, I'm sick of this song. Three two one! Could, could you imagine what it looks like if Andros was shaken? He's just a giant head. Thank you. Uh -huh, he's just a giant head? Yeah, he's just a giant head. 